what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk let me just start off by saying um if I was in the manosphere I was glad that I was only in the black manosphere as many problems as the black manosphere had uh but the black manosphere was um still very controlled it's you know still very african-american oriented still black male oriented and we don't have a whole lot of fraud in the black manosphere the manosphere proper is full of frauds and idiots okay that's one of the things i didn't like about the manosphere proper and i'm talking about manosphere proper i use that terminology to define the white manosphere okay and that doesn't include just white people. It's just honorary white folks, Asian guys, Hispanic guys, some black guys like fresh and fit. They're an honorary white manosphere. But then there's this idiot guy, modern life dating. I mean, this guy is 219,000 subscribers. This guy is a trash channel. He's, this guy's terrible. Um, here's this video, your path to making $200,000 plus a year. I mean, that, that guy doesn't even make $20,000 yeah, I would guarantee. That guy, that guy's terrible. He's probably another um, another BS um, piece of crap guy who sells like these dumbass courses, dating strategies. I mean, another an, probably another no talent guy. I don't know the guy, but I'm just, you know, he's another guy that doesn't know what he's talking about. But recently he got in some trouble about what he said on the dating podcast. And now there's more of these dating podcasts coming out and all these guys are, these guys are terrible. All of them suck. Ever since Fresh and Fit came out there stinking up the box and you had these other idiots coming out here like this guy. But Auburn Preach decided to um, break this guy down. And then there's some receipts on this guy that are, that are quite terrible. Um, let me let play that clip from Auburn Preach. And I'm gonna come back. So you remember the Endure guy? Yes. <laughs> if there's someone that's very, very young and goes into a marriage and has kids when they're like 18, 19, 20, a year into the relationship, it gets really, really abusive. Even though it might be rare from what you guys think, it is. Uh, if it would happen, what would you recommend for those people? Would they divorce or do you want them to keep going in the relationship? Keep going. You can't divorce. That's not a real thing. Even though it might be like physically it, abusive. It, you got to endure. People are too... You want to stick in the relationship? People are just... See, I mean, look, people I'm, nowadays I'm gonna be honest. are just... Situation. For anyone that might be in that situation, what would you recommend? Okay, you endure. Would you they what, give I, up I'll divorce? Tell you what, endure. It is such an extreme example that I can't give a prescription for what other people should do. What Jesus. about if two people Sorry. get married, Sorry, they have a kid, and then the wife starts cheating? Do you think they should divorce? Absolutely. Jesus himself said in, in cases of adultery, divorce is So you think the divorce is worse than physical abuse? No. For what? the children? For cheating. Sorry, you, you think that cheating is worse, is worse than physical, physical abuse? abuse? For the Sorry. children, yes. Absolutely. I, th I think, not. I think I'm not okay, going to say divorce? this is worse. Divorce is I mean, worse I, for the children. No, no, yeah. So he's going to go around explaining what he meant. Three days later. But I did say if there was one instance, because relationships, every, every relationship has fights. Every relationship has ups and downs. Anybody who says otherwise is a liar. Okay. There's conflict in relationships, period. Even the happiest couples in the world, they have conflict. Mm -hmm. And anybody who denies that, like I guess they're just, they're lying. I think you just substituted or slipped something in there very slickly as if it made so your argument. Nobody said there aren't conflicts in relationship. That's not what we're Nobody about. said there aren't fights in a relationship. Mm -hmm. What people said is just because those things exist doesn't mean you put your hands on your partner during one. Even once. Even once. I don't want a traumatized woman in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any history of trauma. I've dealt with those kind of fucking nutbags and I don't ever want to deal with it ever again i want to deal with a normal mentally stable healthy woman so and you think you're normal exactly in, in what sense well do you think you have healthy habits yeah you do yeah some <laughs> must really hate you because after the last video i just got people sending me everything what did you say i punched a latina in the face at rock on what's rock on it's a club in uh, japan he lives over there he was talking shit to, shit to some guy. I guess people just leaking the group chats. He was talking shit to some guy, and the guy said to him, well, at least I've never been arrested for glassing a b And he's like, yo, why are you so sensitive? You, you, are you going to leave next? So that's the, the MLD saying, like, why are you so sensitive? Why are you bringing that up? And the guy says, I'm not sensitive, just giving back some. And then MLD says, you act like that's the last smite on this planet. 
Well, do you think you have healthy habits? Yeah. I think it's very bizarre that someone accuses or says that you bottled a woman in the face and your response is, that didn't happen. Your response is, are you being sensitive right now? Why are you bringing this up? Then it makes me really think you did do that shit. Also, how would you kill this for being so disgusting? Personally, I think a good old fashioned is the way to go. Big old to the head. And then he posts her picture in the group chat. All right, guys, so you, you've heard that, right? Here's what is disturbing about this, this young man. Number one, this young guy, this young guy um, has friends that most likely don't like him. Very popular in these red pill spaces. You know, in the red pill, when you come together and you guys start to like, you know, you, you hate feminism and you hate um, these things, what, what happens is this, and let me tell you what I'm talking about. What happens is um, you, you think you're friends. So what you start doing is you start coming together. You start being hella dusty. Cause you know, you all come together cause you like hate women or you hate something about feminism or whatever. So you start getting into group chats and discords. And then you guys are too stupid to realize that because you guys are having an issue with women, you're too stupid to realize. Think about this because you, 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 you guys are dumb. You're too stupid to realize that you're gonna fall out with each other, right? You're gonna fall out with each other, okay? You're going to fall out with one another, for sure, all right? Now, once you fall out with one another, that's when the shit hits the fan. Now, and especially what happens is when you guys become you know, quite successful as a YouTuber, people start getting jealous, then what happens is, you know, here come the receipts. That's the favorite part. Now they want to start exposing you because you went and said something that was like really stupid. And don't get me wrong. Like we all have stupid things over the internet, but these are group chats. So you're telling people literally that you've done this to these women in a group chat. That's quite different than let's say a woman you're dealing with coming out and said, Hey, he did this to me. He hit me and I'm his ex-girlfriend. Kind of like, you know, the Derek uh, Jack situation. That's different. But we didn't have like this evidence of Derek Jackson talking about this stuff in group chats. He had more sense than that. But not you guys in this red pill stuff. You 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 thought you had these people are not your friends. Like I have friends that I would uh, uh, imagine that if we talked about certain things on WhatsApp, they wouldn't come out and say because I know these people, right? But you're probably sending this stuff to guys you don't know. So then they send it to Auburn Preach, like, yo, man, here's the receipts. And then there's you. There's you and you're looking crazy. You look quite insane. You look like an idiot. Like you don't know what you're what, like you don't know what you're talking about. And this is why a lot of these guys, like the red pill is uh the content thing is really watered down. That's why on my podcast, Ken Gonda, I don't even talk about dating issues. Dating podcasts are terrible. When I mean, you get all these drunken girls in the room, you know, um, guys talking about a whole bunch of nothing, idiots that have, you know, less than 80 IQ. I mean, what do you, you get chaos, you get buffoons and everybody wants to be a hot dating podcast doing the same thing. And you have all these guys who are broke, who have never achieved anything ever. Hmm. I'm just, look, I I'm tired of talking about you guys right now. All right. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of The Slippery Junk. Put your father, you describe the bell. We're out.